You have seen those sneak peek video from Inside 360 website about a bullet time function. This is one of the world's first Inside 360 one review in the world because I have got this a week before it launched. So where is the camera you ask? Well, you are watching it. This video is taken with that Insta360 camera. Isn't it amazing? I looks like someone shooting this video for me. It looks like someone over there shooting video for me. But I'm actually shooting this on a selfie stick. I just came back outside bloody hot Hong Kong summer and I, I have to shoot this video right away because I just got this sent to me Insta360 One Yeah, let's just open it Ta-da! Insta360 One Ooh. This is interesting, it's upside down <laughs> Ooh, it's kind, kind of like a, a rubber stand, something like that. This is the camera itself. Oh, this, oh, 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 I've already turned it on. That's, that's, a, that's a power button, something like that. So you've got a micro SD, not micro SD, micro USB port here. And then you've got, uh, oh, this is the Lightning port for iPhone. Now this time it works with my iPhone 5s I think if the software allow here's a quick instruction oh you can swing it wow oh oh that oh that's a that's a string to swing it uh, I see it's just a those kind of normal tripod uh, flat thing so that you can put your camera strap on it but instead they give you a string. Okay, so this thing could be a stand like this. So you put it like this to protect both lens. Oh, I keep thinking what these two slit is for. Uh, it doesn't fit my phone, but I think this is for put your phone in. Maybe like for example, you're doing live or something, you have to connect it to your phone. You connect to your phone and then you put this on this sleeve like that but oh it doesn't fit my phone my phone is too fake for today's standard for now i have to study what it actually do before i take it out to test it the first thing that captured my attention is this invisible selfie stick feature so as you've seen before i can use this invisible selfie stick feature and looks like someone in front of me taking video of me if i should take a review of this camera i can keep talking to this 360 camera while I'm shooting with this like that. I'm talking about this camera and then I take some test shots. I can just do this. And then this camera just following me on my side. Or follow at my back. <laughs> this is amazing. I was shooting with log profile and seems there's quite a bit of quality issue like noise and artifact. But remember, I was shooting with a pre-production unit with beta firmware. Hopefully, they will correct that soon. I can have video taking of me like this from there. Okay, looks like I should use a thinner selfie stack so it really disappear from the image. But how does this work? Now, when I first received this, when I see me unbox this camera, I may seem a little bit disappointed about the form factor because compared to the Insta360 Nano, that Insta360 Nano, this fit into your iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 nicely. But then take into the specs and what it can do, the difference is this got a gyro inside. That means it got a 6 axis stabilization within. It don't even got like up and down. It's designed like this because it doesn't have up and down, left and right. You just, you can take a photo like this, or this. If you use a selfie stick, yes, that's the first, first time I have to use a selfie stick, but it has to be a good selfie stick, man photo. Usually, if you use other 
360 camera, you have to do this. You have to tilt it so that it stay upright. The thing is, you will get the selfie stick in your shot. Because it stabilizes, it level your footage or photo. You can put it up like that, and then the whole stick will be below it within the stitching line, and the selfie stick will disappear. So this is great. What, however you want to take photo. Well, of course, you can still use it with your phone so that you can see the preview. You can pan around. Now, of course, it can take normal 360 video, right? It's a 360 camera with this handy stand or cover, something like that. Or stand cover, a cover stand. Put it up and then double click. 360 video. In central, central of the central, this is the, the place. This here is the central of the central. I even try to mount it on top of my camera. This do open up more possibility for 360 camera rather than simply taking 360 images. This is the 1080 video exported from the original 360 video. It levels itself automatically and I can pan zoom before I export it. How? With the iPhone app. And I like the approach of this Insta360 Insta360 Insta You just plug it in your phone. It uh, there's no there's nothing about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, pairing. You just plug it in and it works. It's just like a headphone jack, isn't it? Apple. Oh. So you plug it in, it connects. <laughs> nothing to set up, nothing to pair. The features I'm talking about is at the right lower end corner, free capture. You can shoot the 360 video first, and then later export it into a normal 1080 video, pan and tilt and zoom as you like. On the right hand side, there's a big red button. Press it and drag, I can zoom. Now it's recording to a 1080 video. As you can see, I can pan around just like a 360 video because it's basically a 360 video recording real time. It's just like I'm there recording the video now. This is almost like a video game. You pan and tilt in that 360 space as you want. But instead of a game, this is the real footage you shot before. Although this means that you are shooting your video twice. You shoot the 360 video first, and then you virtually shoot it again into 1080. But this will be great for short clips, for casual shooting, and as a second camera angle. I can have a tight shot on my A7S2. So tight shot, wide shot, and my face. And I can talk about that, I can talk about camera, this and that, and then still switch between high shot, wide shot, my face. What's more, that's this smart track feature. Able to track whatever object in your 360 shot. This looks very similar to the DJI Osmo Mobile. But that you have to set the tracking on the spot. This you set it later. And of course, the party trick of this Insta 361 is that kind of like matrix bullet time. Basically, what it do is taking a 120 frame per second high speed footage. They even slow it down to 240 fps in the in the app. So how does it work? It do come with a string to you swing it. I forgot to bring it, so I, <laughs> I I'm going to just try it. Let Let's just. This probably doesn't look good with a almost 40 years old guy doing this, but... Swing a... Swing a stick... A stick... Swinging a stick in bubbles. Obviously, when you take this kind of shot, Beware of your safety and other people's safety and your camera safety. Alright, it doesn't seem like working with a selfie stick. 
this is the best I can get. <laughs> Sorry that I don't have time to arrange something cool like speedboats and color smoke. I have been waiting for someone to come up things like this since day one. As Insta360 put it as shoot first, pawn later. I have been using 360 camera to shoot still shots and export them as normal still photos. When most manufacturers seem to be raising on more resolution, more this and more that, Insta360 is really thinking out of the box. There's quality issue with this pre-production unit. Hopefully, they will correct it in retail version. Because this feature is so cool, I really hope that it works well. This Insta360 one could obviously shoot 360 still and video, but also you could simply use it like a GoPro. Well, talking about GoPro, it sounds like they are making something similar too. Are we with this thing 360 coming into mainstream?